Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get relief from hip pain in five minutes using a percussion massage gun. My name is Dr. David Midoff and I'm a specialist physical therapist with El Paso Manual Physical Therapy and this channel is dedicated to helping people stay healthy, active and mobile while avoiding unnecessary surgery, injections and pain medications. Please consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos we post every single week. Now tight hip muscles often occur with lots of different hip problems. The most common ones will be hip arthritis, a hip labrum tear, hip bursitis out here, hip tendonitis, and so much more strains and sprains. There's so many reasons why muscles in the area can get stiff and tight and you could benefit from loosening them up. And that and massage guns these days are so much more available. There's, they're so much cheaper these days and they're quite effective at loosening up stiff muscles. So let me show you my favorite massage gun. I've got it right here. It's the Toloco brand massage gun. I've only seen this one available on Amazon and um, I've got a review video on this so you can check it out. It comes with tons of attachments. Um, I'm going to just start by using this attachment right here. It's, it's the, a common one that comes with a lot of massage guns. It's the, the little ball. It's kind of got some soft give versus all the other tools typically are, are hard plastic. So this is a great starter one. Um, I've got it all charged and ready to go. So I'll, I'll turn that on in a second. But let me just show you where we're going to go on your hip. So here's the hip joint, the ball and socket joint of the hip. There's tons of muscles on the back side of the hip. Those will be your glute muscles. The ones that typically get stiff are going to be right between this bone and the hip bone right here, kind of where your pocket area is, depending on how you wear your pants. But for me, it'll be, here's my hip bone right here, the, the top of the hip bone right here, and then the outside hip bone is about right here. So in between those areas, right through here and back in here. That would be moving the gun in this area right here. I'm going to cover with you how to get the muscles right in the front of the hip loosened up, then those that are in this front pocket area loosened up, then we'll go to the back of the hip, and then we're going to cover the hip flexors which are a little deeper and harder to get depending on your body type and how comfortable you are and making sure you don't have a full bladder, that might be an area that gives you some relief. So let's get going on it. I'm going to get the skeleton aside and start massaging my hip. And you just need one to two minutes on each section. Um, so it should take you about five minutes, give or take. So me get my gun on. I'm going to put on the lowest setting for now just to start out. And let's say it's my right hip bothering me. So all I'm going to do here is just make sure I'm not on bone. Put it right on the front where the muscle is. You don't want to go too far inwards, obviously. That's not going to go well for you and just move it up and down on these hip muscles. You can press with your arm down on the, on the massage gun. And if you feel like that's doing something great, you can hang out there. It should feel like it's, it's moving your muscles. If you find a tender spot, hang out there. And if you wanna increase the intensity, I'm gonna go up about 25%. That might be more beneficial for you. You'll have to do this a few times to figure out which intensity is best for you but I'm just hanging out on the front of my hip first for about a minute, and then you're gonna to go to the outside, the side of your hip. And my advice to you is to stay in one region for about a minute, give it its, its love and attention, because you might find little knots in there that you don't know are there until you find, you move the massage gun over it, and then like right there, I got a little bit of a knot. I, I didn't know it was there until just now. And as I go now, as I'm approaching the outside, I can feel that I need to work here. So now I'm on the outside of my hip. This is the side. And the bone is right, right here and up here. So I'm gonna stay between the two. And I think I can take a little bit more intensity. So I'm gonna go up into the 25%. That'll put me at 50% of full power. Ooh, got on the bone a bit. Now I'm between the bone. And you just work your way up and down around on the outside of the hip. A minute or so is all you need. You can go more than a minute. There isn't a, a rule or anything like that saying that you have to do a minute. The reason why I'm doing a minute is because you, pe people typically get diminishing returns after that. I mean, it feels good to do this, but how much more it loosens up your hip, it, it typically doesn't loosen it up 
that much more. It's related to how you exercise, what muscles you're using when you move, uh, which muscles are dominant in your normal movements. Um, that's what's going to loosen up your hip for the long term. This is just a short term solution to get you to calm down in your hip and maybe allow you to not have to take pain medication. All right, so I've been on the side of my hip. Let's go to the back of the hip. I got on the bone there. So now I'm just going to lean over a bit and give you my backside here so you can see how I'm using this on the back. Now, you don't want to go too far back, of course. Stay on the muscle. And I'm going to go up in intensity here, but let's go to 75%. You can choose what intensity you want to be at depending on your comfort level. But I feel like right there I got a little bit of a knot. I have been exercising more lately, so I, I'm going to be using my muscles differently. And already I feel much more relaxed in my hip muscles, especially on the outside. Now, if you go through the front, the side, and now the back of the hip, and you find that there's a spot that you feel like you need to hang out more on, go for it. It's like for me, I felt about right here, I could benefit from just a bit more, another 30 seconds or a minute. And that's beneficial for you if you can find a spot like that that really needs to be worked on. Back here, I really don't feel a whole lot. I just feel a very mild tenderness compared to this spot is more tender. And it's actually given up its tenderness. I don't feel nearly as tender as it was before initially. So see, that's what I'm saying with the diminishing returns is after a minute or so, the tenderness goes away um, in most people. All right, let me show you how to get to those deep hip flexors. Now, the reason why this is a little bit different is because the deep hip flexors, we're talking about the psoas muscle and the iliacus, they run in this area behind your guts behind your intestines and all that. So you have to go through the intestines and you gotta go about this carefully. Um, now you can try with this one, but it's it's not as pointed as it needed to be. It's, it's not as, as specific. So I like to use the more pointy um, adapters. So I'm just gonna put this one on here. I've got this one and this thumb shaped one. Actually, I'm gonna switch it to the thumb shaped one because it's a little bit longer. There you go. And the, if you get this gun specifically, you don't have to worry about the way the thumb is, is shaped as far as, you know, which angle you're going to use. I haven't run into any problems with it. I can get different angles and it's fine. So before I turn it on, let me just show you what I'm going to be doing here. On yourself, let me get the skeleton. You don't want to be on this bone here or on any of the bones. You want to be just inside of it, but above the pubic area. You're not going to be anywhere near the pubic area. And you need to be on your gut. So for me... Here's my hip bone right here. And I'm just gonna go up and inwards from it a bit. So up and in, you don't, don't, want, you don't want to go down to the no-no area. And if you go straight inwards, you might still hit some bones or some, uh, some tender spots. There's, there's not, it's a little harder to get to the muscle from there. Uh, you have to go up just a bit. So you could do this in standing. I find that it's easiest to sit and, and relax a bit. So I'm just gonna lean back on the wall and get yourself in a fully relaxed position. If you're in a, at home on a couch, that works perfect, or you know, in a comfortable chair. All right, let's turn it on. I'm gonna start on the lowest power, and make sure you, your waistband of your your clothes is is uh, you know comfortable. Um, you can decide you know how much clothing you want when you do this in the comfort of your own home, and you're just right on top of your abdomen. You'll find real quick if your bladder's full, you need to go to the bathroom. It'll let you know, and you don't need to push very hard. Your best bet is to just let the weight of the gun rest there. I'm not pushing a whole lot at all and just let it sink in. And once you get comfortable with it, it doesn't take much long, maybe 10 seconds or so, then you can apply a bit more force and get a little further in on that muscle. And you can do little circles here. Just be very careful that you're not making yourself too uncomfortable or pushing on anything that you shouldn't. Your body will let you know immediately if it's something that's gonna aggravate you. Um, so use a lot of caution when you're, when you're in this area just because you're on your abdomen, you're on your, or your organs. Um, for some people, I, no joke, I've had people say that they, they're constipated and this kind of loosens things up. Um, just don't be too aggressive and I think it, it might actually help you out with that. Now I'm not a GI doctor um, I don't claim to be one. I'm just telling you what I've heard from other people. I've never had that experience myself. 
So after about a minute or so on that hip flexor on the front of your hip, you're done. Now you can get up and you should be able to move your hip around a bit more, feel like it's it's got some more freedom of movement. It might feel better right away anyway. Um, and what you're setting yourself up for by doing this is you're, you're setting yourself up to exercise or to move, to walk, to get around. Now that your muscles are a little bit more calm, you should theoretically move better. What I would encourage you to do is if you find what kind of hip problem you have, we've got tons of videos here explaining, you know, if it's hip arthritis or hip tendonitis or a labrum problem, go down into the description below. We've got playlists for each of those issues and more and watch the videos on those things, on those different hip problems so that you can figure out which kind of hip problem you have. Once you've determined that, then find the videos that talk about which exercises to do. And after you've done this massage gun uh, treatment for yourself where you freed up your muscles, now you're primed, you're in the best position to go use your muscles properly on those exercises. That would be the, the, the next best step to take. I wish you the best of luck for your hip problem. I hope you can find out what it is and get some relief. If this video was helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our helpful videos. And share this with somebody that you think needs to see this. Thanks so much, friends. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.